Raila Odinga, a former prime minister, has stated that President William Ruto must comply with their demands if any kind of dialogue is to take place. This comes at a time when many people are putting a lot of pressure on Odinga to cancel his planned Monday demonstrations. Raila has already informed his supporters that Monday will be a public holiday, prohibiting work. All things being equal, allies of the resistance outfit will be assembled in Nairobi, where they will coordinate an exhibit in the cities. Aidan Duale, secretary of the Defense Cabinet, claims that President William Ruto was aware for months that ODM leader Raila Odinga would lose the 2007 presidential election. Ruto and Duale stood by Raila when he ran for president again, this time against Mwai Kibaki, who was running for re-election. Following the Kofi Annan interceded non-aggression treaty that brought about the development of the excellent alliance government, Kabaki and Rila went with their lieutenants to agree on the quantity of priests, so it very well may be isolated into two. Duel asserts that Ruto did not agree with a number of Rila's choices. At the time, Najib Balala, a former Mbita MP who was also a member of Rila's Pentagon alliance, held a similar viewpoint. William Ruto, according to Rila, is an illegitimate president who must step down in order to make room for him. He also said that Kenyans chose him in the general elections in August. He also has a problem with the country's high cost of living. Costs of goods have soared since Ruto dominated, and furthermore, the withdrawal of sponsorships has seen life a lot more straightforward. The prices of gasoline, diesel, and maize flour are currently high. The peddling appears to lose esteem in the global scene as days go by. Yet, Rila's assertions today demonstrate that he is open for a discourse, provided that his requests are met. We are now waiting to see who blinks first. Is it Ruto or Rila? The book says that Ruto had worked hard to get ODM a good deal, but he wasn't happy. Ruto thought he deserved to be deputy prime minister, the only prominent position left. Given Ruto's background as a native of the North Rift Brebiscuit and him, Duel, they believe that Ruto's appointment to agriculture was an effort to encourage them to focus on their local communities. Duel, who freely admits having backed Rila up until the elections, also says that ODM gave Ruto a large following because it wasn't happy with Rila's leadership style. In a contentious parliamentary meeting in Navasha, where Ruto presided, some ODM MPs, including Duel, broke their hearts. Following quite a while of missed arrangements and public embarrassment, as per Duel, ODM's genuine gathering was vital. The CS acknowledges that they were referred to as ODM rebels. Ruto was admitted, but Rila was unable to remove him because removing him would have required a House majority. After some state officials stole corn from the National Strategic Reserves and sold it to South Sudan, ODM devised a plan to link agriculture CS Ruto to the fraud. Duel uncovers that the grain was required days before the nation experienced starvation, following the races. Ruto pronounced that while he was ready to resign assuming there was verification against him, he wouldn't do so assuming the allegations were being made by individuals who needed to see him eliminated from office, like his political adversaries. Thanks for watching.